Hello everyone, if you are a project manager and you want to consolidate information and provide additional context to the data you are working with, then attaching documents in Excel is the best option for you. Attaching project plans or detailed reports can provide a comprehensive view of the project progress, making it easier for the team members to access relevant information. By attaching invoices or supporting documents to financial spreadsheets allow one to enhance the understanding and usability of the data. So, this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Limi and today we'll learn several methods on how to attach documents in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the name of the companies, their address, their city and states and the zip code of the states in column B, C, D, E and F. Our target is to attach documents in the C14 cell. For this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we'll be attaching document as embedded object. To do that, at first, we'll select the C14 cell, go for the insert tab. In the text, we'll be selecting object to open the object dialog box. Go for create from file as we want to attach document here. So, we'll go for the file name and select the browse. Here, we need to navigate the folder that contains the document. In my case, I'll be going for the downloads new folder and we'll select the quarterly sales report document. Click the insert. Now you have attached the file here. Tick on display as icon. You can easily change the icon according to your wish. Now click OK and you can see you have embedded the document here. Double click and you can see you have attached the document here. Now let's delete the document file. Similarly, you can also insert a PDF file. Select the C14 cell again, go for the insert tab, here in the text, select the object option to open object dialog box, go for create from file, again select the browse option. Here I have saved the PDF file in the same folder as the word file, you can navigate to different folders according to your requirements. Now select the PDF file, click insert, click on display as icon, click ok and now you have inserted the PDF file here. Double click and see you have attached the PDF file here. So that's attaching document as embedded object for you. In our new method, we want to embed link to a file. And to do that, at first we need to navigate the file path. So at first we'll be going for the file here. Right click on the document. Here you'll find copy as path or you can also click Ctrl Shift C to directly copy the path here. If you don't have this option in your windows, then click on the properties here. Here in the properties dialog box, go for the security and here in the object name, you'll find the whole path. Copy it down by using Ctrl plus C in the keyboard. Now return back to the Excel file and here you want to attach the link to C14 cell. So select the C14, go for the insert tab, text, object in the object dialog box go for create from file in the file name insert the link by using ctrl plus v in the keyboard as you are trying to link to a file so you will tick on link to file click ok so you have attached the document here now let's see whether it's working or not double click on the c14 cell and here you can see the new document has opened on the screen so that's embedding link to a file for you In our new method, we want to create and attach new document here in Excel. To do that, we'll go for the C14 cell, go for the insert tab, here in the text, we'll go for the object dialog box. Now here, we'll choose create new as we're trying to attach a new document. Here you can see Excel have many document types. In this case, I'll choose Microsoft Word document option. Now click on display as icon, you can easily change the icon also. Click OK and now you have opened a new document attachment. Now let's insert some data here. Suppose you want to insert the monthly report of 
your company here then save the file by using ctrl plus s in the keyboard or go for the file tab and select the save option to save the file now let's see whether it's working or not if you double click on the new document and you'll see that you have got the same data you have just inserted so that's creating and attaching a new document here in excel so that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com join our thriving exceldemy community forum where you can post your excel and vba challenges and get solution from our experts and fellow users thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this